Yeah, that's a good t-shirt to start a vlog. Hi there, I'm Agus. Welcome to my vlog. So I just got back from LeakyCon. I was extremely lucky to be there. If I met you, I'm really happy and really glad I did. And it was awesome. So I want to talk to some of the things that happened to me there. And um, partly because I want to share it because it was so amazing and because um, in the future I want to remember I actually made um, a scrapbook of of um, of the trip and so um, I just wrote everything that happened in here but um, still the memories aren't fresh in my mind right now and uh, writing it in a diary journal um, wasn't um, I couldn't really write what what happened and the emotions and what people said because um I really don't like to write like ah dear diary things and so I just like drew things all over hold on that's that's before the leaky gone I drew and had things all over see red vines highlights of leaky con they there weren't Actually, like highlights because everything was amazing like I'd be going from panel to panel and like running into people in the in the lobby like stargates everywhere and um, youtubers everywhere and it was so surreal like first because of um I live in Argentina and that's so far away from um, whatever's happening in the United States whereas like most things happen and like I've watched a very Potter musical a very Potter sequel me and my dick um starship and oh, holy music with Batman and all of these things the Stargate's day seeing them live was so so strange but awesome I that awesome I was so psyched to meet all of them so this was my my card from the event that's my name yeah most of the people I met got it right uh, it's pronounced Agustina sorry for that so you can call me Agus or Agi or Fanny whatever you want I got the HP actors which was a special panel <sighs> they took questions from the audience which was great and then they had like a photo booth um, and we took pictures in groups of 15, but I had the amazing luck to be like the first in my group so I could choose where to stand and I just stood behind Ivana Lynch and like I think I figured that when they published that I might be able to cut like um Because by then I was desperate to get some footage footage with Ivana because I, oh, Come on Come on Ivana Lynch amazing I brought this for you. No, um, I bought the cat, but I made the glasses because it was like kind of the only thing. I know. Oh, thank you. It's so nice to meet you. See you. As YouTubers go, I got to meet Christina Horner. Um, I talked to snakes. Um, during the pajama, the footy pajama meetup. Um, she was amazing with that. We broke the record. Yeah. We broke the Guinness World Record of the most people. I think it was the most people in a room or something of pajama party, but onesies or footy pajamas, as you want to call it. Um, we were 622 people with footy pajamas on. Robbie Jarvis and William Melling show up like to the party. The actors from Harry Potter, they play Nigel and young James Potter in the fifth movie, I think. Yeah, because we were sitting down there, kind of waiting for things to happen. They had to count us a couple of times, and they were like messing around, counting us too. And then someone got them footy pajamas, so they were part of the record breaking with us. Hi. Oh my god. Uh, then. Another amazing thing that happened, like out of nowhere, was um, I was really excited to meet John and Hank Green. 
Um, especially Hank is amazing. I love him. Um, but especially John because his books are such a great thing. And so um, what I did was um, I wanted my copy to be signed. When I went up to him, I had my Looking for Alaska um, book, which looks like this. And when, when he actually saw that, he said something really nice. I had my camera with me, so I asked him to repeat it to the camera. And it was so nice he did it. And then when I walk, he was first, and then um, the Mar Maureen Johnson was sitting right by him. So when I go from John to Maureen, I push it to stop and realized it hadn't been um, recording. And I just have this clip for, of Maureen just going, yeah, what's your name? And trying to sign um, awkwardly. Thank you. And I was so upset and it really got me thinking because the thing is I wanted to go to LeakyCon. I was there. I wanted to meet John. I met him. He actually said something really nice. Really nice and I was so um, moved by that. And then like I felt so bad that I didn't have it on tape. But that isn't important because it happened. I know it happened. It's like I needed it to um, to be recorded and to have it for some reason, which, and I already have it because he said it. The thing that happened is um, the next day they had another signing and I went to that too. I had my camera with me already recording just in case and I got him to repeat the, re uh, repeat it like the second time. Hi John. Hi, how's it going? I was here yesterday, you signed my Looking for Alaska. Yeah. I had the clover. Oh yeah. Yeah, I didn't. Thank you. I didn't get this um, film for some reason. My cameras. Was it amazing? Everybody. So thank you. Are you filming now? I am. Yeah, that clover and looking for Alaska is one of the most like creative and interesting things I've ever seen in one of my books. Thank you so much. And can you give a shout out to my friends that I introduced your books to? Yeah, who are their names? Um, Gaspar. Oh God. Nicole. Um, they're my friends. Don't worry about it. Hi, Argentinian friends. Gftbr. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> So that was amazing and um, I don't get how Maureen is so funny and so crazy and so, I don't even know, crazy, amazing. We got tattoos from her, uh, temporary tattoos. They look like this, except mine is already like ruined, but, um, and it says stare. Of course, I, when I got to the signing with the actors, I got Ivana to sign my book and then got the other actors to sign too. So that happened. And I also brought with me my copy of Pride and Prejudice. This copy really means a lot to me because um, I've had it for a while and like it's all scribbled everywhere and I draw things and I have the drawing there. Um, covers. Um, I had some other drawings. I am really a fan of the Kira Knightley movie. I don't know if you can tell I like Kira Knightley. Maybe. So I have some drawings of her. But um, I got Hank Green to sign that. And I got the stars from the Lizzie Bennet Diaries to sign it. So um, Julia Cho um, who plays Charlotte was like um, said that she would have loved to have a copy like this one and that was so nice of her and then I saw um, Ashley Clements who plays Lizzie and she was so nice I had this dress on from Forever 21 and she was like I tried that on but it didn't fit right it looks good on you though and I was like no <laughs> it probably did fit better on you but I don't know why you didn't buy it but it's okay Mary Kate Wiles Mary Kate Wiles. I don't even know. I don't even know. Crazy. Crazy lady. I love her. She was like trying to, she had cards from Squaresville, which is another thing she's doing on like a YouTube series, um, which is amazing. You should watch that if you're not watching it already. And she had cards for it. And she said like, do you want a, a card from another thing I'm doing? And I was like, yes, yeah, Squaresville. 
um, Zelda, yeah, and she was like, you know about it, I know about it, I follow you, and she was like, so happy, and she gave me a sticker, and I also met Laura Spencer, who is, I think she's Jane, she was like, hmm, so nice, so the girls from the Zibana Diaries are amazing people, and I also met Bernie Sue. And when I, he saw everyone was looking at my book, I actually got him to sign it, of course. I wasn't going to let that pass. Um, but he took pictures of it. So when I asked him, like, why was he taking pictures? And he said he liked it. And he probably put it on the site. The other incredible thing that happened to me, which was incredibly surreal, was that um, I was having dinner uh, on, I think it was Friday night. Um, and this girl comes up to me. I was wearing a Ravenclaw sweater. And she's like, what size is your sweater? And I was like, I don't know. Do you want to check why? And she was like, oh, because I have um, a list of things the Star Kids need for tomorrow's performance. And um, we need a Ravenclaw sweater. Okay, that's what she said. And I was like, what? Take it. I don't even care. Take it. Take it. And she's like, you'll get it back. Don't worry about it. No, I, don't, I wasn't even worrying about that. You take it. Don't worry about it. Um, I was just thinking who was going to wear it. And the only Raven call I can think of was um, Devin, Devin playing Cho Chang. So no spoilers about Star Kid because can't say anything. But um, no, Devin wears my sweater the whole show so that was awesome and then after that I tweeted and um, a few minutes later I received like an at reply the next day I got my sweater back uh, and it had a little tape that said my name and Devin <laughs> anyone that had lent something to them for the show was gonna get um, a poster with all their signatures so I was I was so glad that they had my sweater on the show but still, I still got a signed poster. So, how? I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. I can't wait to go next year. If I get to go, that would be awesome. Um, and if I don't, I am going to spend the rest of my life trying to go to another one. <laughs> That's for sure. Hush now, let's go quiet to the park Where it first started cold night a sighing in the dark I felt my heart was I didn't know vlogging was this hard. <laughs>